All right, welcome back, 511. So by all accounts, President Biden had a rough night in his debate with former President Trump. Even some high profile Democrats have raised the question, should he step aside and let someone else run? Yes, yeah, one of the big talking points this morning. So joining us live this, mo live this morning is Fox 5's Washington correspondent, Molly Martinez. Good morning, Molly. Hey, good morning, David and Kirika. Great to see you. Good to see you. Okay, so after the debate last night, of course, you know, a lot of opinions are flying. What are some of the big talking points that we're hearing this morning? So I don't know if you guys remember, but yesterday you made fun of me for using some 50 cent words. <laughs> and I've got another one for you okay. this morning, and that is gerontocracy. And oh, that means whoa. a government, means a government run by old people. Mm. And after last night, we are firmly in one yeah. uh, when you leave a debate yeah you want to feel confident about, about your candidate and after last night uh democrats don't have that luxury this morning and, and uh, to be clear molly we, we weren't making fun of you no we love it we we admire <laughs> we that. love learning new words we were proud mm -hmm. <laughs> all right well i'm gonna bore you guys to death if Aww. we keep this going <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so yesterday was really a chance for Americans to judge whether or not President Biden has the mental acuity to keep going for four more years. And I think a lot of them were left disappointed by the performance last night. On the other side of the podium, Donald Trump would benefited tremendously from not being fact checked. He threw out a lot of things that were not true last night. He said that Democrats support post birth abortion. That's not a thing in any state. He also skirted any responsibility he had regarding January 6th. He blamed Nancy Pelosi. And then, of course, if you, as you guys remember, uh, the conversation devolved at one point into their golf handicaps. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the yeah. reaction we're getting yeah. this morning is it seems a lot of people were disappointed. The initial reaction after the debate, Molly, and I'm sure you heard a lot of it from your sources as well, is should President Biden step aside and let someone else step in? Um, has that talk simmered down a little bit now that people have had a little cooling off period? Or is that still a big talker this morning? You know, David, as you mentioned, high profile Democrats are calling for him to step down. Andrew Yang is one of them. Uh, they want to prop someone else up. There's still a lot of time before the nominating convention. That's a month and a half away for the Democrats. And there's still a lot of time away from the election. And many of them were sort of instilled panic last night after seeing President Biden not sure that this is their winning horse. Um, so David Axelrod, who is a former advisor of President Biden, said that last night, quote, confirmed everyone's worst fears. Doug Burgum, the Republican from North Dakota, who's on the short list to be vice president, he said that you could tell who won the debate even with the volume off. Of course, staunch Biden supporters are coming to his defense. Biden himself said that it's very hard debating a liar. Uh, but there's going to be a, a real hard look in the mirror for, for Democrats going forward about where their party stands ahead of this election. Okay. All right, Molly, thank you so much for that. We'll check back in with you later.